This has a lot of browns in it, uh, greens in it. It's got a couple glitter greens, like an army camo green, a brown. Um, I'm going to stick with this one because I'm used to neutrals and test the bright ones out later on the later video if you guys want to see how that comes out on skin, um, someone with my skin tone. <laughs> Sorry about all the notifications I'm getting. Um, apparently, people want to message me right now. And I can't get this open. So please hold. Listen to the musical um, <laughs> and I dropped my brush. Listen to the musical interlude while you're on a brief hold. We know you want to speak to a real person. <laughs> okay, so I finally got it off. <laughs> Alright, so. Alright. They give you, in this kit, this little brush. Well, I'm not a little person. So I don't use a little brush. A little brush goes away. I'm a big person. I use my big brush. Plus my eyes are a lot bigger. See? So I'm going to use, I decided to go with the glitter camo color because I love anything camo and pretty much anything glitter. And it's my first time using it. I only put it over, over the eye. Just a little bit. And I might go up a little bit with it. Just brushing a little bit over the end that I did already. Now that it's darker than I'm used to going. So I'm probably going to brush that part off, but I will keep the part. Or you can get <clears throat> your concealer again and fix that part. Or if you like the smoky eye look because your complexion goes well with it, you keep the smoky eye look. But I'm more of a over the lash girl. So don't know how well you can see that. But it's a nice little camel green. Sorry, I'm trying to show you. Let's see. If I move this, I feel like I'm going to break me. So it's a nice little camel green. You can see it, maybe. And it's cute. Um, so that's my complexion tone that I like. Just to match it up with the other side so I don't look all crazy. I'm going to put a little over there, but I didn't go crazy with it. All right, so... Yes, just eyes is what I focus on. And the second part I focus on is my lips. I like for my lips to look all nice because they're already like naturally pink. I don't go crazy with them. The last thing I put on my lips is pro pretty much Vaseline because it's moisturizer and it's good um, for you. So, oh wait, almost forgot. I did say lashes last, so that's, I always forget. Now, I don't have, um, some people have this issue. I don't have bottom lashes. I do, but they're very tiny. They're, like, really, really small. So I only do my top lashes, which normally makes my eye pop, and it's the last thing I do. So I'll do my lashes. And as you can see, they already have started to pop, which makes the rest of the look. Hey, there's Kelster from uh, Live to Vlog on YouTube. Um, you should go subscribe to her, too. Um, Kelster is... The person that got me into vlogging, so you can thank her for this nice little makeup tutorial right now. Oh, see? Well, I did one of those little seizure things. It didn't like whatever. I just did do it. Alright, so... Boom. You got the lashes on. Now, I want to jump straight to my lips, I guess. So, we're going to go to lips, and lips are before anything else, anything at all, I like to, these are glosses, uh, they are from, 
Glam and Beauty. But this prod product dries your lips out. That's why afterwards you I put Vaseline on. Because as pretty as they make your lips, they also dry your lips out tremendously. It's pretty bad. Um, before I do any of that, I like to define my lips, um, give them definition. So I take this uh, pencil and I go around the outline of my lips. It's only going to give me a little bit of definition on where the lips are. And sometimes I do the bottom, but sometimes it comes out funky, so I, I change it. I know, yeah. So I just do the top because I don't want to do too much of that. So see, they define my lips already on camera. You can see the top lips looks very defined. Now I have two different glosses. I have a very bright pink. And I have a very mild, nude-ish gloss pink. I like my bright pink because it really brings out the lips. So I just go across. I'm running out of this, but I go across. And my lips are very dry. Go across my lips with this. To give them color. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to have to use the other one so you can really see the color. But as you naturally... See, I have pink already going on on my lips, so I don't go crazy with it. I just go across it. Give it, no, it's just enough pink. Mm -hmm. And after I do that, I go and I grab some. Yes, this is the knockoff brand, but this is pretty much Vaseline. And I go and I'll take a little bit of Vaseline. And I'll put that on top. Like that. Give it a gloss look. And that's all glossy. And that's all I really do for makeup. And then you get to see the finished product when I take off my head scarf. After looking all crazy on them on video. And this is my look. You can do whatever you want to do, put your hair up, put it down, but as you can see, definition of lips, eyes, and it looks much better. You can hardly tell the, the leaky cap layers. You can tell they're there, but they're hidden a little bit behind the makeup. So if you have the leaky cap layer problem, Hopefully this video helped you with it, and I hope you guys subscribe, and maybe I'll do future videos of makeup if you are interested in seeing what I do to hide uh, leaky capillaries or how I do eye makeup. I have no problem coming back on and uh, doing another tutorial. All right, you guys stay classy. Thanks for coming in and seeing me. See you soon.